<laughs> All right, welcome back to Eddie Let's Play. We are apparently at band practice now. Hey, welcome to the band, everybody. I'm just gonna. This is like our second practice. Yeah, no third, sec, second, third, thir yeah, something like that. I think second or third <laughs> sounds about right. Yeah. I guess I'm leaving my rat babies to starve. <coughs> so that's cool. Yeah, they'll be fine. All right. What's up? Uh, what's up? What's up? Practice. Yes. I crashed my bike once, and a broken spoke went through my leg. Jeez. It was kind of cool. All right, germ. Oh yeah, I can see that. La la la. Okay. So, uh, when are we starting? Ask Greg. He's usually what's holding up up or making us go faster. Me. All purpose, <laughs> Greg. Unto every time, a Greg. <laughs> Alright, kids, I gotta head out soon. Where are you going? Family stuff. Oh, okay. Just for a night. Okay, we doing this? Yeah, let's do this. Wait, I don't know the song. Like, at all. And I barely remember how to play bass. You'll be fine. I completely will not be fine. Zero will be fine. So oh, that's Zero you. Self <laughs> Zero self-confidence, huh? <laughs> No, you, like, I just don't know the meeting. song. <laughs> you stupid jerks. Weird Here Autumn. We go. Right, let's do this. That's how they stay. Some people find one life. They live that way. <laughs> Glad to see you contributing. Have you seen her around? Have you seen her today, Autumn? Weird Autumn, I only knew her a week before she went away. Weird Autumn, Weird Autumn, sometimes you can't see someone until they're gone. But some people never stop, they're always moving on. Now, Blavy Man, have you seen her around? Have you seen her today? Weird Autumn, Weird Autumn, hey, I only knew her a week before she went away. Weird Autumn, Weird Autumn, out, out on Arbor Whoa. Street, I saw Autumn leave, her family drove away. Oh. They can't steal that house, so it's empty and it stays. I never knew why that was, neighbor oh. kids say. I was so pressing the wrong key. Ah, Jesus. They stayed in the house and weird it remains. This is a pretty good song. Yeah. Hey man, have you seen her around? Have you seen her today? Weird Autumn, Weird Autumn, I only knew her a week before she went away. Weird Autumn, Weird Autumn. Uh, keep pressing the wrong key, which is weird because... I feel that. Yeah. <laughs> wow, mate, that was uh, pretty bad is what it was. I get it, you guys. I literally do not know this song. We've had this exact conversation before. It's true. Okay. Now what am I doing here? That was pretty loud. Is that good? Loud's fine. <laughs> good practice. Was it? Eh. You want to do something tonight? Um, I promise it'll be an improvement on last night. What were you thinking of doing? Uh, mm. want to go to the mall? The mall? Yeah, Fort Luchen, like we did when we were kids. When's the last time you were at the Fort Luchen Mall? I don't know, five years ago? Yeah, uh, 
What? You know what? Yeah, let's go. Great. Yep, great. I promise it'll be great. Okay, we sure we're doing this? Yeah, let's go mauling. Great. Something tells me that the mall is one of those abandoned shopping centers, you know? That's what I was thinking. Oh my gosh. Glad I didn't puke in here. Me too. Maybe I just never drink again. Or maybe you just take it easy next time. Hey, uh, do you want to voice B for a while? Yeah, sure. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I don't know if I do moderation well. I can see that. I think the term is risk-taking behavior. Are you seeing someone about this? Hanging with you is working pretty well tonight. No pressure. I should be getting paid by the hour. I got gum. I'm gonna turn on the radio now. Old Gods of the Fort Luchen Mall. That's an interesting title. That is an interesting title. Who are the gods of the Fort Luchen Mall? Fort Luchen! Oh my god. Yep. What the hell happened? Um, the internet? We had the internet when we used to come here. What happened to the carousel? Sold it, I guess. Who buys a carousel? Nobody who comes here. What happened to the bookstore? Also the internet. What happened to the arcade? I'm going to make a sign that says the internet. And hold it up until you're done asking. I can't jump in here. Rude. What happened to... Internet. Professor Oak is just keeping you from jumping. Ah, fucking Because there's a time and place for everything. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, Dollar Empire is still here? I think this one, this is the one thing the internet can't compete with. I used to go in here when I was a kid. You could get an eraser for a dollar, a pencil for a dollar. That actually doesn't sound like a good deal. Oh god, you're right. <laughs> it's a good deal when you need only one. Oh my god, the U-Rev is still here. <laughs> yeah, this old thing. I can feel the edginess from here. It's a hot topic, guys! Just looking in there makes me feel old. We are so gonna do this. There's no way I'm going in there. Like me, every time I go into a mall, I have to go into the Hot Topic. <laughs> it's true. You gotta just see what uh, what they're putting on, and then you gotta just, you know, give your criticism on it. Like, ah, oh, man, they put this in? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Huh. Holy crap. I'm 14 again. Yep, pretty nuts in here. Hey, isn't that... Shut up. Oh, I bet it's B's old girlfriend or something. Probably. Hey, ladies. Hello, lady. Just so you know, we have 20% off select t-shirts. Just like Hot Topic at all times. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, t-shirts. Yep. Thanks a lot. Okay. Catch you later. All right. <laughs> I feel like most people in this town are really passive aggressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Dead Party Boys stickers in 2017. I think they're back in. Hmm. That's cool. I bet you listen to them. Uh. Yeah. They're good. Yeah, if you're 30 years old and sad. 
I'm getting there. Got the sad part down. <laughs> wow. I haven't seen belt buckles in a while. At least not fashionable ones. Mike at the shop has one with a rattlesnake driving a semi truck. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Do what? Cover me. I'm gonna grab one. What? No. Shh. You are not doing this. I guess I'm stealing a belt buckle now. I guess so. So, you're really going to do this. Shh, be cool. Shoplifting is no big thing. I think you go to jail for it. I don't mean that, I mean it's easy. Our eyes evolve to notice movement. Like dinosaurs? If the dinosaur is moving... Wait, that's not... Never mind. So as long as you're perfectly still when the clerk is watching... Like, you're gonna freeze when she looks over? Even if you're in the middle of putting it in your pocket. And this is gonna work because... Dinosaurs? Just like dinosaurs. I'm gonna pretend to not know you until you're done, okay? Are you done? Aw, oh, yeah. Shut up and let's get out of here. Aw, oh, yeah. Sweet belt buckle I am never ever gonna wear. Rubs against my stomach. This is bad, May. You should steal something now. Pardon? Haven't you ever done, like, any crimes? I mean, yeah, I guess. Hasn't anyone? We'll get back in there, champ. No. Like, what? No. Beatrice, let me lay this out. One, the security cameras aren't even on in there. Two, the cashier clearly isn't paying attention. Three, there's not one mall cop here as far as I can tell. <laughs> I don't know. I mean... Hmm. B. This is an experience. Have it. I'll run interference. Okay, but I'm blaming you and driving away if I get caught. Perfect! <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna run interference while you do your thing. What do you mean? I'm gonna distract the clerk. I'm gonna do this. Okay, I would admit that drawing attention is a talent you have. I'm great at crimes. But what if I get caught? You won't. I'll just start screaming if I have to. How is that a good idea? Let's go. Okay, but if this goes wrong, I'm blaming you. Join the club. Hey. Uh-huh. I've got a question. T-shirts are 20% off. Yeah, I saw. I was wondering about something else. Okay. The name of the store. Yeah. <laughs> you probably get this question a lot. Try me. Is it like you revolution or like your revolution? You know, no one ever asks this, but I think about it all the time. I bet. God. You know what the official business name on our checks is? You Revolution Radical Youth Culture Uprising Inc. 
Wow. That's really <laughs> dumb. Oh god, I know. Like, guys, can't we just be a cool a, a store that sells cool shit to teens? Yeah, teens go nuts for this shit. The employee discount is also pretty great. I had a job once. Had a hundred percent discount. Uh-huh. When I stole shit. No, I, I got what you meant the first time. I bet you grab things all the time. May, shut up! Well, they're big into prosecuting to the fullest extent of the law here, so... Okay, I'm done looking. Let's go. Okay, it was nice talking to you by now. Uh, see ya. May is the dumbest motherfucker. Yeah, why did I do that? You did so well, B. I call the cops on shoplifters at my own store. This. What did you get? Some kind of necklace thing. Nice, nice. Oh, God. Forget it. We're home free. Really? Yeah, we're like out in open waters now. I feel kind of sick. Let's walk it off. Whee! Fish fountain. Wow, I completely forgot about this giant fish head. Oh my god. I loved her. Did you ever come to the summer days thing here? Yeah. It like squirt people. I still have no idea how they did that. One time I saw it knock a guy down. Yeah, every year it would happen and someone would make a fuss. But like, I don't know. He showed up to be squirted by a fish fountain. <laughs> you know, the walkway way up there. Past the upper food court thing. Up in the atrium. The what? The ceiling. The glass part that points up. I know what an atrium is. Uh-huh. Anyway. When I was a kid, I thought that's where God lived. Wow. I don't know. Just remember staring at it when I was a kid. Like eating a burger. And trying to see if I could see God. Like, peeking over something? Looks like they've got some weird hanging art up there now. Wanna go up and see? Nah, my knees are killing me from work. I wanna jump! Oh, yeah. This is like, actually hanging out at a mall. Yeah. You up for eating? Let's check out the rest of the mall first. Work up an appetite. I was kind of hungry when we got here. Well, fucking sorry. I'm looking around. <laughs> I was calling me. Do you need a pause? Um... Give me a sec, because it's Hane, and I gotta tell him, like, I'm in the middle of a thing, so okay. I can't really talk. That was the first time that a conversation with him was like the shortest ever. It was just like, yeah, I'm in a thing right now. And he's like, oh, okay, you do your thing. Peace. And I'm just like, all right, cool. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay, let's do the shot. The book rook. Vibes music. It's an FYE. I guess it would be an FYE, huh? Mm hmm. Wow, this should be good. I wonder what kind of 
Oh, come on! There's no one working the counter! <laughs> oh, wow. Hello? Anyone here? Jeez. This is bleak. This is like something out of a failed state or something. What's that? When you make a country and it doesn't work out. So, like this country? Eh. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Jeez. Ruins. Let's see what they've got. Honky Tonk Armageddon. <laughs> well, I'd actually listen to that. Just to see what the hell it even means. Cover's got a pickup truck exactly like my uncle's. But this one is on fire and flying out of Dragon's face. Upgrade. <laughs> I want to listen to Honky Tonk Armageddon. Oh, hey, it's that band. What band? You know, you remember the song? Had that video that people posted like a zillion times? I have literally no idea what you're talking about. It had that weird horse in it. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I remember it had a weird horse in it. Oh god, yeah, that horse was all... Dancing, I guess. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we have officially remembered that video. We did it! <laughs> I guess that's the whole story. I feel like B, like B might be a little more happy than like her overall demeanor kind of leads on. Yeah, I think she's cool. I guess she's I'm... got like that just stoic thing going on. Yeah. I guess it's time to go eat. No, Hell no, yeah. No, I'm no. actually kind of hungry myself. No. Oh. I understand because I woke up and I started playing this. I I have not eaten breakfast. <laughs> Did you just wake up when I like messaged? Yeah, messaged no. you about Animal Crossing. Yeah, I I just woke when I messaged you back. I had literally just rolled out of bed. Ah, oh. <laughs> it's quite late. Okay, <laughs> well, I didn't go to sleep until like three a.m. That is quite late. <laughs> yeah. So it kind of balances itself out. Exactly. This is you. You up for eating? Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's eat. Okay. I expected more excitement. Mall food court diner. Dinner. Dinner. Oh, what a feeling. See, that wasn't hard. Yeah, my sleep schedule was back on track until the other day. I had a severe migraine, and I was up until like 5.30 in the morning, and now it's screwed up again. Ooh. God, those migraines have got to stop. I know, it's crazy. Anyway. What did you get? You inhaled it before I got a look. Pierogi burger from Smelter Burger. That's just a big... Pile of carbs and meat, huh? <laughs> Isn't that what we are? Bones, too. I don't want bones in my burger. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's a rainy day. Remember when Kathy Domenko pulled out Cindy Clark's nose ring here? You know what? Uh, sorry. You know what that was about, right? Wasn't Kathy pregnant with, what was his name, football guy? Ron Boon, Boonstra. Ron Boonstra. I don't know what, I don't, fuck. <laughs> Ron Boonstra. I didn't know you knew about that. Well, I mean, there was the first football game of our senior year, and Ron ran up to the sideline and yelled at the stands, my first touchdowns for my beautiful firstborn and his mommy, Kathy Domenko. That's something. Kathy was in marching band and she was crying, I think. And then he dumped her for Cindy a week later. Oh, yeah. See, that's the part I know about. 
that's what set off the whole nose ring situation. I wonder what Kathy's up to now. Well, last year Ron had this ATV accident. And somehow, Kathy and him got to talking after that. And then, they got married. Huh. Yeah, Ron's parents set them up uh, out in the double wide in the in Brittle. Since Kathy refused to end up in Possum Springs. Brittle's like 15 minutes away. You know what the worst part of the story is? Mm. Cindy having something ripped out of her face? At the time, I was like... God moves things around in the strangest ways to bring two people together. I don't know if I even believe in God. Same, really. Thinking about this place, the fountain, and the God walkway and stuff. Not knowing how something worked used to seem like magic. Now, not knowing means it might be going wrong and I may not be able to fix it. Help knowing someone was at the controls, you know? Now I'm just tired from the time. Tired all the time from the shop. When I was at school... Yeah. Ugh, don't even want to talk about it. What happened anyway? You want to run around the mall some more? Uh, there's not really much else to run around. We can check out the weird bad art upstairs. I want to touch it. Please don't. I want to run. You run. I'm going to sit here. I'm tired and sad now. Suit yourself. Alright, this has been one motherfucking long ass episode, so why don't we go touch the god art next time on 80 Let's Play? Let's go touch the god art! <laughs> Catch you later, everyone. Bye, guys.